Hello once again audience, I'm Twins Play Taken, and this is Call of Warhammer, yes. Um, Call of Warhammer is a special mod for Medieval 2 Total War, and I thought, since I love Call of War, um, Warhammer so much, I should do a Let's Play on it. So, um, anyway, um, here we start off, I am playing as the, ooh, let's just read this, okay. Just pause. If you want to read this, I'll go through it slowly-ish. Okay, anyway, yes. Um, so, I will be playing as Slanesh. Um, now, Slanesh is the god of beauty and lust, and I think something along the lines of that. So, yes. Um, First of all, um, so this is the Chaos Wastelands along here, you, um, this is the first area that we're going to capture. Um, we have, uh, Nurgle, yes, Nurgle here, he's the Lord of Disease and Decay. Um, basically anything with pestilence. Um, Zinch is the Lord of, basically he knows the future and he He's the, he's the changer of fate or something, I think they call him. And Korn is the god of blood, death, chaos, destruction, etc. Basically anything with death in it. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, first of all, what we want to do is get to this settlement as... You have to start really fast on this thing, otherwise you get screwed over. Because... Although I have to admit I have changed some of the files so it's slightly easier. Otherwise, the chaos, like the armies get huge stacks and it makes it very annoying and boring to play. So yeah, I'll just end my turn here now. Slight something. Um, the turns take a very long time, so I'm really sorry if you find them boring. Um, I'm using a new program that I haven't used before called DX3, and I don't know how to really use it very well. So like I, um, oh yeah, um, new mercenaries, but yeah, so, um, I'm not, uh, I'm not 100% awesome at this program, so I may stuff up once in a now, but yeah, until I figure out how to get rid of this stuff, uh, you just have to sit through it, but they're not very long until later in the game. So yeah, let's just, yep, get in, oops, not what I wanted to do, but oh well. Riches, yep, okay, so yeah, um, now, I like doing this because it shows you where along the coast, because it means that you can spot all the settlements that you need to take, but quite a few of them are here. I'm pretty sure it shows you, like, um, yeah, victory conditions, they're quite big. Basically, to sum this up, we need to control everything along here, in here, across here, and more stuff down there. But yeah, so, um, it is, it's a very fun campaign regardless. Um, I have done a run-through of it, and I found it quite enjoyable. Anyway, yeah, so, um, this, the land that we're in currently is the Chaos Wage, which is where no normal man that is not, um, okay, let me put this simply, um, in our armies, if you look, we have these things called Marauders, um, y you may or may not know this, depending, but, um, the Marauders are based off Norse, um, like, they're based off the Norse people, so, like, Sorry, I'm not very good at explaining this, but, um... How can I put this? They're, um... They've got... Oh, I've got it. They've got, um, Norse models. Like, they're... Like, they, um... They use... Quite often, they'll go raiding along these coastlines to try and take any booty that they've... Gold that they've found. Um, anyway, this is just the old world, actually, like, this is just the old world, there's actually more lands out that way, which is, um, if you want to know, the, um, High Elves actually live that way, and, um, the Orcs live around here, I think the Night Goblins have a settlement here, 
the dwarves are all through these mountains. The Empire's got like this massive segment right here, however, it's split into the different um, counties, I think they're called, because they're always trying to vie for control. And, um, the currently, like, the ruler of the Empire, um, Karl Franz, he currently lives in Altdorf. It's, so basically, Altdorf is effectively the capital of the Empire, although quite often the people dispute that because everyone wants their city to be the capital because it's just a big thing to have because the empire is constantly fighting among themselves there's also the bretonians like so um the bretonians are here um their lands and then there's further even further that way is the island of Ulthwin, which is where the um high elves live um i think they're around here somewhere I'm not quite sure, I think they're like, around here, but yeah. Um, the Dark Elves, or the Druchi, are basically the High Elves evil kin, um, which is when Malkith, he's the Witch King, or the leader of the Dark Elves, he decided to split from the High Elves because he felt like it, and he was actually originally going to be the Phoenix King, which is the leader of the, um, of the the elves, however, um, there was some lines of blood rights. I don't know the exact story, but yeah. So effectively, he had his face, his face was horribly scarred, and so he wore a um, he now wears a metal mask that covers it, and oh yeah, that doesn't happen very often. Normally, those two are at each other's throats, but yeah, um. So yeah, he keeps his face covered because it's like horribly burned. Um, but yeah, so basically the 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 high elves and the dark elves are effectively the exact opposites. The dark elves are evil, of course, and the um. Ugh, I'm probably stuffing up the spelling, but I don't care. Yeah, um, this game is slightly buggy. Yeah, I did, but oh well. Um, the game is slightly buggy, so there may be um problems with the game. Um, because it is like this is an entire rewrite. Oh yeah, see, it's the Grand County Duchy and Principles. But yeah, um, anyway, this is an this is a complete revamp of Medieval Two. It's called Call of Warhammer. Um, I've already said that, but yeah. It's really fun, I've enjoyed it quite a bit, and I think I'm going to attack this settlement. As soon as I just scout out this one, yeah. Okay, if we save. Yes. Okay, now let's attack. Let's go, and I'll show you some of the new models because. The models in this game are super well done, like they look very good. And and also I thought it'd be kinda of suitable to do this seeing as how um uh Warhammer Total War is actually coming out next year and um next year in twenty sixteen I believe. Um so yeah, I thought I might as well do this because uh, it seemed quite suitable to do this since it was on. But yeah, what does this say? They are stronger than us, smarter than us, live longer than us, and are far better looking than us. They are superior in every respect, and the taxes are lower when they rule. When they come back, I will be the first to welcome them. Hanskull, Dank, Sylvanian. Uh, um, the Sylvanians are basically the vampire counts. So basically, they are um, vampires and skeletons and zombies. But yeah. See, check out the models of these guys. I mean, I think they're pretty amazing. Especially the generals. I mean, look at the... Look at the detail that's gone into that, but yeah. Um... Let's get the three generals here. Oh, this one's... Uh, damn. He's on foot. Oh, stick with the infantry. Yeah, him, 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 group one, stick him here, 
Um, no, they don't have them. Should stick your arm more easily throw awayable infantry on the ri on the rams because quite often some of them die from the arrows fired from the towers of the town although I think because I'm pretty sure some of these towers fire um like arrows so sometimes they kill your uh, soldiers so you always stick your weak easily throw awayable infantry on the on the rams yeah, the ladders are good. Um, I'll stick these trees in there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes the um placing the units is a bit difficult. Hey, two. Look at the. Next, so this is unit four. I'm sticking out front because these guys fire call their armor piercing. Well, okay, maybe they're not, but their, their axes are still quite effective against armor. So you want to use them to sort of weaken your enemy first. It's quite good, and I should probably move the rams to actually where they should be. Um, I'll stick this chosen over here with this one. Group three. And then I'll send the rest of the units with this ram. Uh, these guys can go here, these guys can go here, what am I missing, halberds, and general, well one of them, five, and these guys can just, pretty sure these are not, okay, to battle. So just pause it and let's see how's our ally deployed I severely doubt they yeah I forgot to make them build rams oops but yeah see look at that they're already being fired upon by the arrows I'll send them to march see, if you're wondering how I'm doing that I'm just holding spacebar um, it's quite useful when you want to see what goes where. Uh, here, and I'm pretty sure these guys can run. Yes, good. And do it. You always want to run to the ladders so that they don't die before they get there. Because, as I said, those towers fire arrows, which is, they're actually very painful and can do a surprising amount of damage. Get these guys to fire on these guys, because... As I said, they may not be armor-piercing, although I'm pretty sure they are because they do quite a lot of damage. But yeah, I'll move these guys forward a bit. And anyway, um, I'm just going to cut this episode out right here, so I guess you'll have to wait until next episode to see what happens. Anyway, I've been Twins Play Ticket, this has been Call of Warhammer, and I will see you folks next time. Peace!